Greetings Humanity of the World. Humanity of the Internet. And all participating members. We are anonymous. In case you were not aware, California, is currently experiencing its most severe drought ever recorded in history, the impending implications are still being tallied. But the profit-driven company, Nestle, has yet to slow their bottling of plastic water bottles, guzzling 80 million gallons of water from Sacramento aquifers per year. For this reason, environmental and human rights activists, holding plastic torches and pitchforks, formed human barricades at both entrances to the Nestle Waters bottling plant in Sacramento, at 5 a.m. on Friday, March 20, 2015. Their protesting effectively shut down the company's operations for the day. The activists, members of the Crunch Nestle Alliance, shouted out a number of chants, some which include, we got to fight for our water, and Nestle, stop it, water is not for profit, and also in Spanish. Agua para quien? Para nuestra gente. Those in opposition to what the company is doing, stayed until 1 p.m., but thanks to the universe, there were no arrests. This corporate welfare giveaway is an outrage, and warrants a major investigation, coalition spokesperson Andy Connecticut stated. For more than five months we have requested data on Nestle water use. City Hall has not complied with our request, or given any indication that it will. Sacramentans deserve to know how their money is being spent, and what they are getting for it. In this case, they are getting ripped off. Lolo Ellis, of 99 Rise Sacramento, who spoke on a bullhorn at the protest, said, Nestle's bottling of water in Sacramento, is unsustainable in the current state of drought. We really don't know how much water they are taking from the aquifer, and that, is a scary thing. She continued, the water needs to be used for the local community. If there is not enough water for the local community, the Nestle Corporation should not be making a profit. Others support Ellis' stance, rallying out of disbelief, that such corporate greed could be allowed to continue, when residents of the state, are expected to run out of water within the next 12 to 18 months, if serious action is not taken. The coalition rallied to protest what they call, Nestle's virtually unlimited use of water, while Sacramentans, like other Californians, who use a mere 7 to 10 percent of total water used in the state of California, are advised to limit their use, and have had severe restrictions enforced upon them. What they hope to achieve is, for Nestle to stop stealing all the water. Nestle only pays 65 cents for each 470 gallons it pumps out of the ground, the same rate as an average residential water user. But the company can turn the area's water around, and sell it back to Sacramento at mammoth profit, according to a news release presented by the activists. According to those protesting, Sacramento officials have refused attempts to obtain details of Nestle's water use. Coalition members have addressed the Sacramento City Council and requested that Nestle either pay a commercial rate under a two-tier level, or pay a tax on its profit. As shared by Daily Kos, a call to the Sacramento City Department of Utilities about the details of Nestle's water use, had not been returned as of press time. But the corrupt corporate paid mainstream media, Fox 40 News reported, that in 2014, Nestle says it used 50 million gallons from the Sacramento Municipal Water Supply, which they say, is a fraction of 1% of total water demand within the city of Sacramento. Issued by the company in October 2014, the following statement, is in regard to a previous protest in front of the plant. In Sacramento, Nestle Waters North America purchases, and pays the standard metered rate for municipal water, which is delivered through the municipal pipe system. We are not ranked among the top 10 water users in Sacramento, as we use about two thousandths of 1% of Sacramento's total water demand. Our company is subject to any restrictions, drought, or otherwise, imposed on all light industrial or business customers by the city of Sacramento, and we comply with those restrictions. 
to this, Bob Saunders, also with the Crunch Nestle Alliance, responded, Nestle can claim any amount of water they want, but we have not seen any documentation of the amount of water they are using. We do know, they are allowed to take up to 80 million gallons per year. Mauro Oliveira, known as Red Sun, showed up at the protest with his children, including Rise, Aaron, and Maher. He has connected the battle of local activists and fishermen, to stop fracking, the Shasta Dam Rays, and Governor Jerry Brown's Bay Delta Conservation Plan, to build the Twin Tunnels, the most environmentally destructive public works project in California history. Mauro Oliveira said, this whole idea of bottling water, goes against the indigenous people's concept of water is sacred. The 20,000 year old water in aquifers belongs to the last generation on planet earth. We, nor greedy companies like Nestle, do not have the right to tap into this water. He continued, the governor said, that we, should conserve, but millions of gallons of fracking waste are being re-injected into the aquifer in California. The governor talks out of both sides of his mouth. Polluting our water supplies, is a violation of human rights. We researched disturbing news, that the Wall Street banks, and elitist multi-billionaires, are buying up all of the water, from all over the world, at an unprecedented pace. Familiar mega-banks and investing powerhouses, such as Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan Chase, Citigroup, UBS, Deutsche Bank, Credit Suisse, Macquarie Bank, Barclays Bank, the Blackstone Group, Allianz, and HSBC Bank, among others, are consolidating their control over water. Wealthy tycoons, such as T. Boone Pickens, former president, George H. W. Bush and his family, Hong Kong's Lee Kashing, Philippines Manuel V. Pangilinan, and other Filipino billionaires, while others, are also buying thousands of acres of land with aquifers, lakes, water rights, water utilities, and shares in water engineering and technology companies, all over the world. The second disturbing news we found, is that, while the filthy rich, and corrupt corporations are buying up water from all over the world, corrupt corporate paid governments, are moving fast to limit citizens' ability to become water self-sufficient, as evidenced by the well-publicized, Gary Harrington's case in Oregon, in which the state criminalized the collection of rainwater, in three ponds located on his private land, by convicting him on nine counts, and sentencing him for 30 days in jail. Let us put this criminalization in perspective. Billionaire T. Boone Pickens, owned more water rights than any other individuals in America, with rights over enough of the Oglala Aquifer, to drain approximately 200,000 acre feet, or in lame terms, 65 billion gallons of water a year. But this ordinary, law-abiding citizen, Gary Harrington, cannot collect rainwater, nor snow runoff, on 170 acres, of his private land. It is a strange new world order, in which multi-billionaires, and elitist banks, can own aquifers and lakes, but ordinary citizens, cannot even collect rainwater, or snow runoff, in their own backyards and private lands. This is a concern, that demands attention, and resolution. The more we all raise awareness, the more positive change will be enacted, therefore, Operation Nestle, has been re-engaged. To all multi-billionaires, and elitist bankers, who are stealing humanity's water, by means of using paper currencies, which was acquired by it being passed down through your bloodline for generations. You really do not care for humanity, nor the very earth which provides natural needed resources for all species big and small. Your only concern is, control, and money. Money money money. When will you learn, not everything on our planet earth, can be put a price tag. But, you are what you are. So expect us, to do what we do.